Hi, and welcome to our video where we review YCharts economic data. YCharts has hundreds of thousands of economic indicators sourced from a variety of government and private providers. Today we're going to look at where this data is housed and how we can best search and apply that to our workflows. Initially, I can type in the top search bar box here. Maybe I'm looking for GDP. I can type in US GDP and click this arrow here. This takes me to this dynamic search function where I could then add in additional data points that I'm looking for, for example, to pull the data up that way. However, if I just want to view the depth and breadth of all of our economic indicators, I would recommend going to data and then economic indicators. All of our data points regarding economic indicators will be housed here. Initially, we group them by country up at the top with these major headline indicators. Down below, we have the key economic indicators where you can once again sort by country. And then on the right, an economic calendar where we can see the upcoming data releases as well as today's and recent. We group by category here and then reports down at the bottom. Now drilling into the reports here, we can view all of the economic data reports we receive and then we can toggle down into them. So if I select Bureau of Labor Statistics, that takes me to this page here. Now, if I wanted to view the US CPI index year over year, I can click that and that takes me to this page here. From here, I could export the data to Excel if needed, or I can set an alert. If I wanted to set an alert when this crosses a certain value, I could do that through this box here. I can also hit view full chart, which expands the CPI chart and allows me to then Maybe I can add in a model to see how it performed during the CPI rising and falling. Going back into our economic data, we also have a sort function by category. If I wanted to look at interest rates, for example, in the categories box, I can select interest rates, which takes me to a page where we house all of our interest rate data. At the top, we're going to have the ma major Bank of America Merrill Lynch indicators. And then as I scroll down, we'll have Canadian interest rate data, Bank of England, Japan. And now we'll get into daily treasury par real yield curve rates. As I continue down, you can see we have a vast library of different durations here. If I wanted to look at the 10-2 treasury spread, I can click that and that takes me to this similar page as the CPI. From here, I could set an alert to get an alert when the 10-2 spread uninverts, or I could overlay the S&P 500 by selecting view full chart. In the securities box, I can type in SPX to bring in the S&P 500. Now I see the S&P 500 in orange and the 10-2 treasury yield spread in purple. While I'm on this page, I also wanted to illustrate how you can access our pre-built templates that host some of our economic data as well. From here, I can select new fundamental chart, new from template, economic data. If I wanted to do farther yield curve analysis, I can scroll down to US Treasury yield curve analysis. Hit start, and that will build a chart of different duration bonds and their yield. If I wanted to see when the US was in a recession during these periods, I can hit the drop down and hit show US recessions. Now this will shade any time the US is in a recession. Now the best way to track our data and be on top of upcoming releases is using the economic calendar, which is under data and economic calendar. From here, I can toggle to all regions or just narrow down to the United States, for example. This shows me the data that was released today as well as what's coming out this week. I can toggle through next week and see data points from here, I can select which data point would be important to me, click Add to Calendar, and add this to either my Google, Outlook, or Apple Calendar. Thank you for taking time to review our economic data overview. And please feel free to reach out if you have any questions.